Yep. Go. Welcome back to Wiseman Company, everyone. Ben here, and today we have a first for you, a watch review. This one is from Winfield. It's called the Field Lead PVD. That is a mouthful, Field Lead PVD. I think a watch is an important piece of equipment that you should have on your person. Here at Wiseman Company, obviously we're about the prepared preparedness mindset, responsible citizen, lifestyle, etc. blah, blah, blah. I think a watch, is important. I don't think you're fully dressed until you have your watch on. And just a little side note, fellas, show up on time. And by on time, I mean five minutes early. All right. It's within your control most of the time to show up on time and it shows you care. We all know that one guy that always shows up late and he clearly just doesn't care. All right. Don't be that guy. Show up on time. Anyway, enough of the dad talk. Let's get into the specs on this watch. It's actually there's actually a lot of value with these Winfields. They're known for bang for the buck, bounce for the ounce, performance to ratio, dollars, high ROI, all those other dopey sayings you hear. Um, and in my experience, I kind of have to agree with it. This is a really nice watch. And I'm not, I'm not easy on equipment. I'm really not. I break everything. I'm on the range five to six days a week. I work outside. I'm you know running and gunning, banging stuff off barricades. Uh, move and steal targets, uh, very active lifestyle. I work out, I go to the beach, I swim. All that time, I have a watch on. So to, th to say this thing has lasted through my personal abuse is, is pretty pretty good, pretty cool. And there's not much, there's not many scrapes or dings on it, as you can see. Okay, enough, enough about that. Let's look at the specs, see what you guys think. The watch is an automatic with a Seiko movement. Now, what does automatic mean? Automatic means there is no battery in it. It runs off the movement of the watch or winding the watch. That being said, there's going to be a power reserve. The power reserve is 41 hours, and that's the amount of time, if it's fully wound or fully charged, quote-unquote charged up, that it can sit still before it goes dead. And in my experience, it's right around that 41 hours. I haven't timed it exactly, but it's just under two days. If I haven't worn the watch, it stops moving and I have to reset it. Accuracy. Automatic watches have a window of accuracy. What that means is, depending on how wound up it is, how much you've been wearing it, it's going to affect the preciseness of how it keeps time. There's probably a better way to put that, more eloquent in watch terms, but there is an accuracy window. And advertised, this watch is minus 20 or plus 40 seconds per day. Now, in my experience, and I have checked it uh, against an iPhone, it's been more like minus 5 or plus 10 seconds per day. So the window's been very a lot smaller for me. Advertised, minus 20 or plus 40 seconds per day, give or take. So that's something you should look at when you're purchasing a watch, if you're purchasing an automatic watch. What is the accuracy window? Thus far for this watch, it's been really good. In fact, it's actually been better than some of my more expensive watches that I own. All right, let's get into the most important part of the watch, everyone's favorite part. Okay, maybe it's not the most important part, but this is the one everyone cares about, aesthetics, how it looks, what's, what it's made out of, and a watch is a piece of art. So beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Uh, it's just like a gun. Some guns have really great lines, and you, know, you think they look great, and the guy next to you thinks they look ugly. Um, let's look at the aesthetics. So the numbers, the hours on here, the hands, all glow in the dark, for lack of a better term. They are bioilluminescent. 
they will hold a charge for a short amount of time uh, if you hit it with white light or good old vitamin D from the sun. Uh, it'll dissipate somewhat quickly, but even in a dark room, not having a charge for a while, you can still mostly make out the time because they do, again, glow in the dark. The face itself is an OD green color. There's other options on the website if green isn't your thing. Uh, seconds on the outer rim, as you can see here, no military time on this watch. That's something I would like to see on, on every watch's military time. It just makes it as a, a quick reference. The case is 316L stainless and it's black PVD. So it's not shiny. I didn't want anything shiny. I don't, like, I don't really like uh, just like a stainless color. Black PVD is cool. The glass on the front is double crystal. I'm trying to keep the reflection down for you guys. I know that's kind of annoying, but uh, it is reflecting a lot of that light. The diameter is 41 millimeters and the thickness is 13 millimeters thick. Let's take a look at the crown. This is the crown. You can see the Winfield logo on there. It's a nice touch. Uh, the crown, to unlock it, you're going to untwist it like so, just like you're unwinding a screw. It's going to pop out. And this setting right here is going to allow you to wind the watch. You're going to turn it clockwise and you can actually wind the watch up just like if you were moving it around. Um, you're winding it. Next click out is going to change the date and then all the way out is going to stop time altogether. So pretty simple to use and to set. I like that. Simplicity is nice to lock everything in place so you don't accidentally change anything. You're just going to press in and turn it clockwise so it tightens down. Pretty easy to use. Let's look at the hardware on here. This is a NATO strap. I like NATO straps. Make sure you wash them because if you wear them uh, for a long period of time and you're sweating in them, they're gonna stink like a dirty gym sock. So you gotta take these off, wash them. There's a lot of other NATO straps available on the market if you don't like this one or you wanna change colors. There's so many available out there and they're easy to put on. Anyway, back to the hardware. You can see Winfield on the latch there. I am running a Sunto Compass on here. This is a nice touch. These are 20 bucks and they're bomb proof. Great, great little compass. They're oil filled. Um, I've got a review or short on these. Uh, just a great addition to any any field watch is a, is a little compass. Plenty of adjustment on this on this band, but again, if you need a different band, there's there are tons out there to choose from. Price point on this Winfield Field Lead PVD is three hundred and forty bucks U.S. dollars U.S. fiat currency. And that's a pretty good deal. That's a pretty good price point for the value you're getting with these watches. There's a lot of other watches, a lot of other automatics out there, and they're gonna do similar things to this watch and maybe be $100 to $200 more uh, than that $340 price point. Watch guys, jump in the comments below. Let me know uh, what you think about this watch. Uh, if you have heard of Winfield, if you use Winfield, um, be great to hear from some of the more experienced watch guys. Again, I'm not a connoisseur. I just really appreciate a watch. Winfield did send me this for a review and I appreciate that. Uh, Mark's a great guy over there. He's doing good things. They're a small company. I believe they're based out of Ohio. I love supporting small businesses, especially small businesses that make a quality product. So Winfield lead PVD again experienced watch guys jump down in the comments let me know what you think i really enjoy wearing this watch it's holding up great it's comfortable to wear it is a little bit on the thick side but some people appreciate thick you know what i mean um and i'm one of those guys i like i like a some meat some meat to the equipment i want to know that it's going to hold up so far this one's doing a great job so guys thank you for watching this was the first watch video it was probably terrible I probably missed a lot of things because i'm not like a uh, professional watch guy but that's what you guys are for the audience jump down in the comments let me know what's going on with this watch let me know any other watches you would like to see on the channel I'd be happy to take a look at them 
If you want to support us, go to wisemancompany.com. That's the best way to support us. A lot of great gear over there, and we appreciate all that support. Guys, my name's Ben. We'll see you on the next video.